Mr Newman must abandon his uh, decision to cut elective surgery and to seek the redundancy of nurses, to have fewer nurses in our hospitals. He must abandon his plan to privatise public hospital services because Mr Newman now has $700 million more coming Queensland's way as a result of the GST Distribution Committee's deliberations. The Commonwealth Grants Commission has made that decision. Queensland is the big winner from the Commonwealth Grants Commission's decisions and that means that Mr Newman has no more excuses to continue cutting savagely into services and jobs. He needs to reinstate the frontline services that he has cut that he promised he would not cut. It seems the more the Commonwealth Government puts into Queensland, the more the Newman Government takes out. The more the Gillard Government puts into Queensland, the more the Newman LNP Government takes out. So we are calling on Mr Newman with the benefit of a $700 million windfall to end his savage cuts, junk the new Audit Commission report, reinstate the frontline services that he said he would never cut, reinstate elective surgery and stop sacking nurses and other frontline service providers in Queensland.